Hey, I have another moment of revelation in my life. Um, I was over at Pace West, um, just doing some regular landscaping work, and I started meditating on this particular word that Bishop Lyle Deuce was preaching on, and he was talking about um, this verse from First Timothy chapter six, verse twelve, which states. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, to which you were also called, and have confessed the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. That part saying, fight the good fight of faith and lay hold on eternal life. In that portion, it's not particularly saying that, you know, you're fighting against the devil, you're fighting against, you know, your wife, your husband, you're fighting against family members, you're fighting against, you know, just somebody. No, you're not fighting against any of them. The real fight is against yourself. Or as Bishop Laudu says it, you're fighting to stay faithful and stay in God. But the real fight is you're fighting against yourself. Fighting to keep yourself in alignment with the word of God. Fighting yourself to not go astray. Fighting yourself to, you know, be angry, but sin not. You're fighting yourself to just not let the devil get the best of you. But you're fighting against yourself. You don't let your flesh overtake any type of anger, any type of emotions, any type of things that, you know, would cause you to go out of character. Keep your faith in God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Keep the fight going in faith. Because if you don't do that, you're going to find yourself in a position where you're in bondage and you can't get out of it yes we sin but we don't have to stay in sin yes we're not perfect but we strive for perfection fight the good fight of faith overcome yourself because you are an overcomer and you can do all things through christ who strengthens you and you are more than conquerors through him that loves you. God bless you. Have a wonderful time. And I pray that this word sets in your heart and moves you in the direction where you need to go. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So long.